This is the GDC Money Clip. It holds your cash, up to five cards, and a 1.75 inch fine edge stainless steel blade. At just 3.6 total inches, the Money Clip fits easily into your pocket. When you need the blade, just grab the ring, release the lock, and pull. The thumb notch ensures a solid hold that won't budge. After you're done, the blade snaps back into the super sturdy steel sheath shielded by a G10 composite plate. This is function, utility, and style in your pocket. This is the GDC Money Clip. Hey everyone, in this video I'm taking a look at a stun gun. It's made by ViperTech and it's the model VTS-989. And I think ViperTech is the best brand of budget stun guns. And what I mean by budget stun guns is you can get a ViperTech stun gun from for under $20. In fact, they even have some models that are only about $10 or $11. There are other brands of budget stun guns, but I think ViperTech is the one to look at if you're looking at a budget stun gun. Now certainly these are made relatively cheaply in China and I'm not really sure exactly how long they're going to last so they're not necessarily for like police or security field use but I think just for general personal usage uh, to have on hand and for the price I think they are a good price. So check the description field of this video uh, for links to where you can get these. Um, you can literally get this model uh, for under $20. So this is everything that it comes with. You can see the box here that it comes with on the right. Then you've got a charge cable. This has an internal battery, so it charges uh, with this charge cable. Internal rechargeable battery, that is. And this is the little case for it, and also has a little belt loop so you can wear it on your belt. And this case is made so that you can actually use the stun gun while it's in the case. Um, so you can get access to it real easily and use it uh, if you would like. And then here's the stun gun. Now the one nice thing about this particular model is the form factor is a little bit larger. They do have cheaper models that have a smaller form factor. It's basically just this part here, and then you know, you've know you got the prongs here. So, so the smaller one would fit nicer in a pocket or a purse, although it's not as powerful. Uh, so that's something to consider. Also, this form factor is a little bit nicer in that you can use it more uh, like a weapon in a way because it fits real nicely in the hand, and you can just sort of like punch somebody with it without even you know, without even stunning. Um, you can kind of use this kind of as a weapon. It just fits in the hand nicer. Also, it's more powerful too, so it packs more of a stunning punch than, uh, you know, the lower end models. Although the lower model is cheaper. So let me show you this. It actually has an LED flashlight built in. So it has a three position switch here. Um, this is the firing switch. So if it's off, you know, obviously nothing's going to happen. Uh, so it's off on the lower part of the switch, you know, on the low end. Then you put it in the middle and it turns it into a flashlight. As you can see, the LED flashlight went on. Now, it's not the brightest LED flashlight in the world. Um, it is fairly bright and it's brighter than lower end models. Um, however, you know, it's not the best LED flashlight in the world. But it does, it is certainly usable and serviceable. So then when you put the switch up to the arming position, that's all the way up, you see the red light on. And that means the thing is charged and ready to stun. Um, so in practice, it's very easy to go from the off position to, you know, the stun position very quickly. Um, but it is something that you, if you want to be ready, you want to kind of practice with it and make sure that you know this unit inside and out so you're not accidentally, accidentally stunning yourself or somebody else. So now it's in the arm unit, and here I'll go ahead and fire it off. It packs a serious wallop. Also, it's quite threatening in terms of the sound that it makes. Uh, I don't know if you could hear it in this video, but... Uh, it really makes a loud sound. So even if you're not actually going to stun someone with it, just threatening them with it uh, is, you know, quite, you know, a bit uh, frightening. But one of the things about this model is the metal is extended down here. And I think that's for if somebody tries to grab it from you, you can still stun them. And if they're touching both of those metal parts on the side, they will get stunned. But it also is something to be aware of with this model, because if you grab it and press the button yourself, you're going to get stunned. So in other words, this whole top part, you just want to be careful with. But yeah, it uh, packs quite a wallop. And uh, yeah, that's going to really hurt somebody if they get stunned. And again, this particular model is certainly stronger than um, lower end models in terms of the amount of stun that the person is going to get. That was one of the reasons why I got this model, because I figure if I'm going to have a stun gun, I wanted to you know, pack quite a punch. So this is what it looks like in the case. And as you can see, the buttons are sort of covered by parts of the case, so that's a little bit odd. 
but you know you can open the case real easily and then uh, pull this out quite fast so yeah it's basically in the case right now you can kind of see that the buttons are covered by parts of the case but it is operational uh, when it's in the case uh, if you kind of know what you're doing so you know you just have to open this and then you can operate the stun gun you know while it's in the case if you're looking for something a little bit smaller you might look at the Vipertech mini stun gun which is a little bit of a smaller form factor although they aren't as powerful so they don't pack as much of a punch in terms of the stun also the uh, light on those is not quite as good This is the Schrade SCHF-50F T-Handle Fixed Blade Knife. Designed with everyday carry and self-defense in mind, the SCHF-50F is crafted from a single piece of 9CR18 Movi High Carbon Stainless Steel. Weighing less than one ounce, the SCHF-50F is a dependable low-profile blade that can be worn effortlessly underneath even the thinnest clothing in rural and urban settings without raising alarm. The SCHF-50F wields a one and a quarter inch razor sharp fine edge spear point blade that features a blood groove for increased penetrating power. To deploy the SCHF-50F, grasp the TPE T-handle in between the middle and ring fingers and pull swiftly to remove the blade from the sheath. Make a fist to secure the knife in the hand. From this position, the knife can be thrust forward in a self-defense scenario. The scalpel-like fine edge of the SCHF-50F can also double as a small utility blade for detailed cutting and slicing tasks. Grip is enhanced even further thanks to strategically placed palm jimping on the backside of the handle that guarantees a secure position of the blade, even when the palm is wet from water or sweat. The SCHF-50F arrives ready for action in an ABS neck sheath that features a mini carabiner, allowing the knife to be worn either around the neck or carried on a key ring. Ready for anything, crafted from premium materials and built for a lifetime. This is the Schrade SCHF 50F T-Handle Fixed Blade Knife. Find the SCHF 50F along with the SCHF 50. Taylor Brands is proud to present the Smith & Wesson Survival Tactical Pen. Featuring an aircraft aluminum body, this tool is more than strong enough for close proximity tactical maneuvers. The pen utilizes a Starman and Black Fine Point D1 pen cartridge that is exposed by twisting the end. To exchange the ink cartridge, keep twisting the end to detach and swap out. The pen's top unscrews to expose a ferro rod. The lid has a metal groove scraping area which is used to strike quickly and firmly against a ferro rod producing a spark. A black protective coating must be scraped away before sparking. The tactical survival pin has an optional keychain attachment. To use this, you simply unscrew the ferro rod and screw the keychain attachment onto this area. The Surefire LED Defender Ultra is a rugged and dependable flashlight great for any low light situation. The Defender features a dual output LED with settings for both maximum light and for extended runtime. The aluminum body has a black anodized finish for extreme durability. 
The strike bezel and scallop tail cap provide enhanced self-defense capabilities, making it an excellent flashlight for everyday carry. Like all products sold by Brownells, the Surefire LED Defender Ultra is backed by our 100% unconditional forever satisfaction guarantee.